Ngayong gabi, we will be discussing about the last topic, no? the last few topics for Philippine Electrical Code, which are special equipment, that is uh, chapter uh, 6, no? Chap uh, then we have special condition 7 and communication system, chapter 8. Yan. So, yan po tatlong ano po, tatlong topic po yung i-discuss natin for this evening. Okay? So, let's start with our first um, chapter to be discussed, which is chapter 6, no? special equipment. So, yung special equipment, it pertains to the equipment, which is also hazardous in itself. No? So, iba't iba equipment yung i-discuss natin dito, na yung sa last time, yung sa chapter 5, those are all um, special uh, special occupancies, no? So, ito, these are all mga equipment, okay? So, first, we have electrical sign and outline lightings. So, mga definition muna tayo. So, electrical discharge lighting, uh, it utilizes fluorescent lamps, high-intensity discharge lamps, or neon tubing. So, those lights na ang kanilang ginagamit is fluorescent lamps, yung mga HID or high intensity discharge lab at yung tubing so they belong to electric discharge lighting yung neon tubing naman no? so isang type ng electrical discharge light lighting so electrical discharge tubing manufactured into shapes that form letters part of letters uh, skeleton tubing outline lighting other decorative elements or art forms and filled with various inert gas. So this uh, this type of um, uh, electrical discharge lighting are usually for um, ad advertising purposes, no? So yung sa mga billboards, no? Yung sa mga signages. So ito yung ginagamit yung neon tubing. So kaya sa tawag na neon because the usual gas na sa loob ng kanilang anang tube mismo is neon. Then, skeleton tubing, neon tubing that is itself the sign outlines lighting and not attached to an enclosure. So, yung mismong ating ano, neon tubing is the structure itself. No? So, kaya tatawag siyang skeleton tubing. Then, signs and out, outline lighting system no? shall be marked with the manufacturer's name, trademark, or other means of identification, and input voltage and current rating. So, yung ating mga ano, signs and outline lighting systems, so dapat daw, nandun yung manufacturer's name. No? Kunyari, may isang, ano, may isang manufacturer na gumagawa siya ng mga signs, ng mga ano, billboards, no? o ng mga, ano, ng mga, um, uh, ng mga uh, signs sa isang, ano, sa isang tindahan, no? yung mga, uh, mga signs na may mga ilaw-ilaw, no? So, dapat ilagay doon sa mismong enclosure yung pangalan ng gumawa. If there is a trademark, then trademark. Then, other means of identification, no? address, contact number. Tapos, yung input voltage, no? kung ano yung operating voltage ng, ano, ng, uh, ng system, no? o yung signage. Tapos, yung current rating ng signage. No? So, ganun po yun ang dapat, no? nakalagay. With incandescent lamp holders, no, kapag mayroon namang mga lamp holders sa loob, shall be marked to indicate the maximum allowable wattage of lamps. No? Tapos, the marking shall be at least 6.0 mm high. So, ito yung minimum. And shall be visible during relamping. So, in case na may busted, tapos you need to troubleshoot. So, dapat klaro yung mga markings. For the brand circuit naman, so incandescent and and flow and, and fluorescent lamp this pertains to sa mga no natin sa mga signages natin shall be rated not to exceed 20 amperes kapag neon lamp naman yung ginagamit shall be rated not to exceed 30 amperes so yung maximum for incandescent and fluorescent 20 amperes ang maximum for neon lamp is 30 amperes no kapag gina, kapag ginamit natin sila as as uh, lighting for signages. Yung disconnects, no? The disconnects is within the site of the sign or outline system that it controls. So if kunyari ito yung billboard, so dapat uh, yung kaniyang disconnect o yung breaker is ano din, um, within the line of sight, no? So mas malapit, no? Sa signage. 
within the site of the electronic or mechanical controllers located external to the sign. If we have a motor controller or controller na nakokontrol din yung sa sign, yung sign is uh, nag, ano siya, nag, nag rotate siya, so dapat nandun na yung disconnect sa loob ng controller. Okay. Groundings. So signs and metal equipment of outline lighting system shall be grounded. So dapat, kasi metal, no? Especially they are also put on ano, outdoor location. So, dapat meron siyang proper grounding. Okay. Flexible metal conduit. So, we could use flexible metal conduit as means of bonding in length, in length not exceeding 30 meters. So, if you are going to have a connection no, between metal parts, so instead of using wire, so pwede natin gamitin yung flexible metal conduit as long as hindi lalagpas ng 30 meters ang kanyang length. Small metal parts, the parts not exceeding 50 mm in any dimension, not likely to be energized, and space at least 19 mm from yung tubing shall not require banding. So ito yung kanyang ano, mga requirements for small metal parts na hindi na kailangan ng banding. Hindi lalagpas ng 50 mm ang dimension, tapos not likely to be energized, at ang spacing niya is at least 19 mm. Galing doon sa mismong neon tubing. Non-metallic conduit no, shall be installed separate and remote. Space at least 40 mm from the system for 100 Hz or less. Or 45 mm for system 100 Hz and over. So, depending on the frequency ng ating system, kapag ano, 100 Hz pababa, so atin 60 hertz so ito yung susunod natin 40 mm ang spacing no ng kaniyang ano ng kaniyang uh, conduit no which which uh, hindi na kailangan nating lagyan ng grounding 45 mm naman if lalagpas ng 100 hertz bonding conductor so ito yung minimum 2.0 square mm or 1.6 uh, mm diameter no so signs in fountains shall have all metal parts and equipment grounding conductors Banded, no? So, yung lahat ng metal parts for signages na located on fountains dapat naka-banded at properly ground. Enclosure. No? The, enclosure the enclosure shall be a sheet cop copper or aluminum at least 0.5 mm thick. Using a sheet metal for enclosure shall be at least 0.5 mm thick. So, this is the enclosure for the controller or, the, or doon sa disconnect. So, ang minimum niya is 0 0.5 mm, mm or 50 mm thick if the metal is made of copper or aluminum. If that is sheet steel, 0 0.40 mm yung kapal. Location, no? So, if vehicles, if my dadaan na vehicle shall be at least 4,300 mm above areas where access to vehicles unless protected from damage. no? So, ito yung minimum. So, pwedeng bababa dito at if merong mga uh, mga ka-install no? na mga equipment that is to protect also the, ano, the pedestrian uh, o yung madadaan ng mga sasakyan at yung mismong ano din, signage. Pedestrian, neon tubing installed and pedestrian shall be protected from physical damage. Then adjacent to combustible materials. The material shall not be subject no? to temperatures in excess of 90 degrees Celsius. Then the spacing between wood or other combustible material shall not be less than 50 mm. So ito yung minimum spacing between any uh, combustible material. No? 50 mm ang kanyang minimum spacing. For wet location naman, shall be listed water tight type or weather proof and have drain holes. No? In case na may papasok na tubig, no? I I kahit pasabihin natin water tight yan, no? hindi naman yan term na waterproof. So that is only water tight, meaning kapag water tight in case na there is there will uh, enter water, no? so uh, it, it will not hamper the operation of the equipment. No? So yung waterproof kasi talaga hindi papasok yung tubig. So kaya may drain hole. So drain hole should not be great, uh, larger than 13 mm or smaller than 6.0 mm. Every low point or isolated section of the equipment shall have at least one drain hole. Ground fault circuit interruptor. No? So it is required that shall be an integral part of the attachment plug or shall be located in power supply cord within 3 
100 mm no so part ng ating ano ng ating uh, uh, supply no supply uh, wire or the supply cord which is uh, within 100 mm ng ano from the equipment shall run tayong ground fault circuit interrupter then ballast transformer and electronic power supplies so the ac the accessibility located where accessible and shall be securely fastened in place kapag weight location naman whether roof type or or of outdoor type then working space at least 900 mm high 900 mm wide by 900 mm so ito yung minimum no 900 uh, length width and height niya no attic and soft fit location so permitted to be located provided there is an access door at least 900 mm by 600 mm of the passageway with a walkway of 300 mm wide Okay, now we go to cranes and hoist, no? So, yung crane natin yan yung ginagamit to lift, no? Our, ano, any uh, material, no, na nasa baba, especially if uh, yung, ano, yung building is, ano pa, under construction, so there is no um, elevator, so yung ginagamit is crane or hoist, no? So, the contact conductor, so locating or guarding contact conductor, so the runway contact conductor shall be guarded and the bridge contact conductor shall be located or guarded in a manner that person cannot inadvertently touch or energize current carrying parts. No? So, dapat yung mga conductors that uh, that is used, no? Na yung ating runway, uh, yung ating hoist or cranes is um, para gumana sila, so dapat it is properly grounded and guarded no to prevent accidental contact no na maring may makurente dahil doon the contact wire so that is the extreme limit of displacement of wire is within the less uh, less than or within or less than 400 uh, 40 mm no yung pinaka ano niya pinaka extreme na part or pinaka end ng wire is yung kanya sobra is 40 mm support along runway shall be supported at intervals not exceeding 600 mm. Yun, support ng ating mga runway uh, runway conductors. Yun, yung conductor na nagsusupply ng uh, motor sa ating mga crane, no? Okay? Then support on bridges. So the at the conductor should be keep at least 65 mm apart so that is in case na magkaroon ng interference or magkaroon ng uh, uh, tawag doon may isang conductor na magaano mag uh, maaari silang ma, ano, madikit tapos the insulation will be damaged so at least pag malayo so hindi magkakaroon ng arcing then within the span that exceeds 25 mm tapos insulating saddle shall be placed at intervals not exceeding 15 mm yeah. support of rigid conductors shall be carried on insulating support space at intervals not more than 80 times the vertical dimension of the conductor, but in no case greater than 4,500 mm, and space apart sufficiently to give a clear electrical separation of conductors or adjacent collectors of not less than 25 mm. So, ang separation na between conductors is not less than 25 mm. Yung support naman vertically is um, hindi siya lalagpas ng 80 times the vertical dimension of the conductor at hindi at in, in any case also na hindi din siya lalagpas ng 4500 mm in case na yung 80 times is low magpas ng 4500 mm so ang, ang susundin pa rin is yung 4500 mm clearance no shall have a minimum of 70 uh, 7, 750 mm to access to live parts where the control are enclosed in cabinets, the door shall either open at least 90 degrees or be removable. So this is for the control of our cranes and hoist. Okay, so these are the demand factor for the supply of our cranes. Okay, dalawa. So the total load times 0 0.95. No? So kapag tatlo, the total load of our uh, cranes, no? so kunyari 3 uh, 30 kVA so times 0.91 so yan na yung kanilang supply ang kanilang ano ang kanilang rating no kasi ano naman yan uh, there is the so called rating factor natin no when it comes to um, multiple loads yan 
Okay, so these are the wires no, to be used when it comes to mga hoist, no? So, the uh, crane and hoist motor. Yan. So, ito yung mga ginagamit. So, it is different from the typical wire. Kasi yung mga wire natin is dapat the minimum temperature rating is 75 degrees Celsius. The maximum is 125 degrees Celsius. And the largest size is 250 square mm. And the minimum size is 1.25 square mm. Okay. Now we go to elevators, no? So if we have multiple elevators, no, supplied by a single feeder, so kanyari isa siya, no? So that is 100% akin din one factor. If dalawa 95, no? So this is for single feeder na elevator. If you if your a uh, if your elevator is supplied by uh, in individual feeder, automatic dito tayo sa 100 kasi tigi isa yung bilang noon. Pero Pero the usual is isang feeder lang yan. That is to uh, also uh, maximize no? or to minimize the cost, no? yung gastos sa paglalagay ng feeder per elevator. So, magiging isang feeder lang yan. So, ito na gagamit na demand factor. So, kunyari, siyam siya. So, 0.73 ang kanyang demand factor. So, for 9 elevators, kunyari, 10 100 kVA. So, 100 kVA times 0.73. So, ang rating ng kanyang ano, ng buong load is only 73 kVA. Okay. Then, swimming pools, fountains, and similar locations. So, we have the dry niche luminar lighting fixture. A lighting fixture intended for installation in the wall. So, ito sa ano, sa wall ng ating pool or fountain in a niche that is sealed against the entry of pool water. Yan. So, this is no waterproof so talagang walang papasok na tubig with niche luminar a lighting fixture intended for installation in a foaming shell located in a pool or fountain structure where the fixture will be completely surrounded by water no so ito siya nasa ano kunya nasa mismong gitna ng ating ano pool tapos may parang valve doon no so na nakapaloob yung ating mismong valve so that is what we call a sweet niche luminar then ground fault circuit interruptor, no? so the GFCI for this type of circuits shall be self-contained units, circuit breaker type, or receptacle type, or other approved types. So there are only three na approved. No? We have the outlet type, the circuit breaker type, or the yung sa outlet type, also known as the receptacle type, or yung kanina yung sa mga signages na integral doon sa plug or sa cord ng ating ano ng ating equipment. So grounding. So the grounding, oy, nabanyari nagdirect. Ayun. So grounding. So the following shall be grounded on no? the following equipment through wall lighting assemblies and underwater luminescent fixtures other than those low voltage system listed for the application without a grounding conductor. So ito na in general lahat dapat naka-grounded unless they are listed, no? or prove to be na uh, yung mismong equipment does not need grounding. Any electrical equipment located within 1,500 mm of the inside wall of the body of water. So, from the wall of our ano, uh, swimming pool, 1,500 mm mula dyan, as long as mayroong equipment, no motor, lights, septacle, so dapat naka-grounded yan. All electrical equipment associated with re recirculation of water system specified body of water. So, kunyari yung motor, yung pump motor na siyang nagpa-pump or nag-suction ano, no, ng tubig no, doon sa ating pool, automatic that will be grounded. All junction boxes, all transformer enclosures, including the enclosures of our ground fault circuit interruptors. Then, panel boards that are not part of the service equipment and that supply any electrical equipment associated with the specified body of water. So, lahat ng mga panel board, so kahit those panel board is hindi siya nagsusupply doon sa service equipment, no? yung pump, yung mga, ano, mga iba pang mga equipment, but supply any electrical equipment associated with the pool, no? yung mga lights doon. So, the panel board also must be grounded. Cord and plug connected equipment. No? So, for the cord and plug connected equipment, 
So length for, uh, for other than st uh, storable poles, the flexible cord shall not be or shall not exceed 900 mm in length. The equipment grounding, no? so the flexible cord shall be made of copper, not smaller than 3.5 square mm. So overhead conductor uh, clearances no? for communication system, so from the height of the pool, yung mga communication system, yung mga wire ng Wi-Fi, cables, so shall be permitted at a height of not less than 3,000 mm no? above the surface of our pool. So ito. Yan. No? So ito yung ano niya. Pinaka, tawag doon. Pinaka chart. No? So clearance in any direction of water. So this is insulated cable 0 to 750 mm. Yan. Kapag all other supply or service drop cable, so 0 to 15 kV, 0 to 15 kV, so ito yung ang kanyang clearances. Okay. Under wiring locations, so wiring shall not be permitted under pool or within area extending 1,500 mm horizontally from inside the wall unless the wiring is necessary for the equipment or the, for the pool equipment. So, for example, uh, merong wire na dadaan sa pool para doon sa, ano, sa CR, no? No? Sa CR. So, dapat walang, ano, walang, uh, dapat hindi doon dadaan yung, ano na yon yung wire na yon no? So, the, the, ano, the electrician, no? Or the designer must find a way na hindi doon dadaan yung wire, no? Sa ilalim ng pole or area extending 1,500 mm horizontally no? from the wall of the pole. So, ito pala yung, ano, hindi ko muna, hindi ko na ano yung table. Okay, so wiring shall be permitted only if installed in RMC, IMC, or non-metallic receiver with which is corrosion resistance. No, yung, ano, yung inaallow is yung mga wiring that is necessary for the pole equipment. But they are only allowed if they are done or installed in RMC, IMC, or non-metallic raceway, which is corrosion resistant. No? So, if in case ganyan, so ito yung minimum na mga boreal length. For RMC, 150 mm. For IMC, still 150 mm. For non-metallic raceway, so um, listed for the li direct boreal no? without concrete. In case met, it is 450 mm. For other approved raceways, it is also 450 mm. So, receptacle, no? circulation and sanitation system location. So, receptacle for water pump motors or for other loads directly related to the circulation and sanitation system of our pool shall be located at least 3,000 mm from inside the whole pool or not less than 1,500 mm if the conditions of the following are met. No? So, consists of a single receptacle, employ a locking configuration, are of the grounding type, tapos merong GFCI. So, kap so yung ating mga receptacle for our water pump, so dapat 300 mm from the inside wall, pwede lang siya 150 mm if mamit tong apat na criteria. So, isang receptacle lang, may locking mechanism, yung ating mismong equipment kasama na yung at na nag-automatic lock siya in case there is a tawag doon there is a trouble tapos naka-grounded type siya tapos may GFCI yung mismong ano natin yung mismong uh, tawag doon receptacle natin okay so other receptacles location shall be not less than 300 mm from the inside wall of the pool so lahat ng mga receptacle no shall be not less than 3,000 mm no? inside the walls of the pool. Dwelling units, no? so at 230 volts, 15 to 20 amperes of the call, on a general purpose shall be located not less than 300 mm and not more than 600 mm and not more than 200 mm above the floor or grade level of the serving pool. So if in case yung bahay natin may swimming pool, so ito yung mga tawag doon, mga requirement for a receptacle for an outlet. So, dapat hindi siya, bababa, ang location niya is not less than 300 mm. Tapos, hindi naman siya, ano, 6 meters or 600 mm from the pool. Tapos, vertically, pataas. So, that is 200 
2,000 mm above the floor or the grid level of the serving pool. Ang GFCI, so protection for the poles, all 15 and 20 ampere, single phase, 230 volts receptacle located within 600 mm, a 6,000 mm pala or of the inside wall of a pole shall be GFCI type. Also receptacles that supply pole pump and that are rated 15 to 20 amperes, 125 to 350 single phase shall be also protected by a GFCI. Luminaires, no? uh, lighting fixtures, lighting outlets, and ceiling suspended paddle fans. So new outdoor installation clearance no? shall be 15 mm horizontally from the pole and a height of not less than 3,600 mm above the maximum water level. No? Kung, kung maglalagay man tayo ng mga ilaw no? or mga uh, suspended ceiling na mga, pa, uh, mga fans. No? So, Uh, yung kanyang horizontal distance from the side of the wall is 150mm with ang height naman is not less than 3,600mm. Indoor, uh, indoor clearance cells shall be protected by GFCI and a height of not less than 2,300mm. So these are the following na dapat ito yung susundin na standard. May GFCI tapos hindi bababa ng 2,300mm ang height. Totally enclosed luminaires, ceiling suspended faddle fans, identified for use beneath ceiling structures. Tapos yung mga existing installation located less than 150mm or less horizontally from the pool and shall have a height of 150mm. Tapos rigidly attached at naka GFCI. So switching devices, all switching devices shall be located at least 150 1,500 mm from the pool and separated by a solid fence or a wall or a permanent barrier. No? So, pinakakomo na clearance dito is 150 mm. So, junction box and other enclosures sa ating pool. So, dapat junction box are connected to a conduit and a transformer at dapat may GFCI at or similar device that extends directly to the forming shell. No? So, ito yung kanyang mga requirements for the construction. Be equipped with a traded entries or hub or a non-metallic hub. Tapos, ano siya, made up of copper, brass, or suitable plastic or other approved corrosion resistant material. Tapos, be provided with electrical continuity between the metal conduit and other terminals. So, dapat naka, may ano siya, provisions for bonding, no? The installation to the vertical spacing shall not be less than 300 mm, no? measured from the inside bottom of the box above the ground level or pool deck or not less than 200 mm above the maximum pool water level, so which provides the greater elevation. The horizontal spacing, so that is the junction box shall be located not less than 1,200 mm from inside the wall pool unless separated by a fence, wall, or permanent barrier. Then, flush deck box, no? yung ating mga box na naka-flush doon sa ating wall, no? or sa, sa wall ng ating, tawag doon sa pool, or doon sa mismong pathway. If used as a lighting system operating at least 15 volts or less, a flush deck box shall be primitive if both of the following apply. An approved potting compound is used to fill the box to prevent moisture. So, dapat yung ating ano, yung ating box is ano, is uh, watertight. No? Hindi, yung hindi, ano pa, waterproof so that the moisture could not enter. The flush deck box is located not less than 1,200 mm from the inside wall of the pool. Then we go next to solar photovoltaic system. So, So, ang ano, ang solar photovoltaic system is considered as special equipment by the Philippine Electrical Code. No? So, we have AC photovoltaic module. So, a complete environmental friendly protected unit consisting of solar cells, optics, inverters, and other components exclusive of tracker designed to generate AC power when exposed to sunlight. So, this is the complete ano, set of uh, PV module, no? So, or PV system. So, nandun na yung ating solar cell. Kasama yung, so, solar cell and optics. So, yan yung kanyang 
panel, inverters, another component so charge controller, the battery. Hindi kasama yung solar tracker na kung saan yun yung ginagamit para yung mismong panel is so is susunod siya sa galaw ng araw. No? That is to maximize the uh, output of our solar panel. So, hindi kasama yan for this AC photovoltaic module. So, array, a mechanical integrated assembly of modules or panels with support structure and foundation, tracker and other components as required to form a direct current power producing unit. So, it, an array is a group of solar panels. No? So, ito yung pinaka, ano niya, pinaka pinaka uh, meaning niya no kung ito yung uh, ano natin sa kanya definition a, a an array is a group of solar panel then bipolar photovoltaic array a photovoltaic array that has two output each having opposite polarity to a common reference point or center top so parang katulad to siya ng ano ng uh, transformer na pwede mo pwede kang makakuha ng ano dalawang tapping or tatlong tapping so this is bipolar so dalawa yung kanyang uh, makukuha na output voltage. Blocking diode, a diode used to block reverse flow of current into a photovoltaic source. So, the blocking diode protects na protect the panel para walang babalik na current doon sa ating panel. So, for example, uh, biglang, ano, biglang nagkulimlim. So, mangyayari doon is if our panel no, is connected na um, tie grid, so there uh, there are in rush current na pwedeng pupunta doon sa ating panel. Pero mayroon tayong diode, in which diode, if that is reverse bias, so hindi yan, kung sa ano pa yan, hindi yan naka-on, naka-off state yan, so hin hindi babalik yung current, hindi makakapasok yung current sa ating module. Then building integrated photovoltaics, photovoltaic cell devices, modules or module materials that are integrated in the outer surface structure of a building and serve as the other protective surface. Uh, add as the outer protective surface of the building. So, ito yung pinaka-common nga sa atin, yung ating mga panel is ano, uh, gin, uh, ginagawa ng part of the roof, roofing or part of the glass wall. No? So, that is the BIP or Building Integrated Photovoltaics. Charge controller, equipment that controls DC or the DC voltage or DC current or both used to charge the battery. Yan. Then, diversion charge controller, equipment that regulates the charging process of a battery by diverting power from energy storage to DC or AC loads or to interconnected utility services. Then, hybrid system, a system compromise of multiple sources. So, we say hybrid system, so meron kang, ano, meron kang um, uh, current or kuryente na galing sa um, sa utility company tapos meron ka din galing sa wind no so, kung meron ka sa ring wind bonnet na wind turbine sa ano mo sa farm or sa bahay then solar panel and also generator no so that is what we call as a hybrid system an interactive system a solar photovoltaic system that operates in parallel or may deliver power to an electrical production and a distribution network. So, the meaning for inter interactive system doon sa PEC part to, same din yan sa interactive system for the solar panel, no? Or for the solar na, ano, na provisions, no? Or PEC part 1. So, the, the interactive system, so that is any system na, na, na meron kang uh, um, consumer or merong as consumer side na pwede siyang makapag-produce ng kuryente kunyari solar panel, wind or a or a or a generator na kapag lumagpas yung kanyang ano or sobra yung kanyang output, it could deliver the power also back to or back to the distribution network para pwede ding magamit ng ibang consumer. So that is an interactive system. So Ang, ang kadalasan nangyayari dyan for that purpose, so meron tayo tawag na neat metering. No? I believe yung nasa bandang NCR pa, no? at region 4A yung may mga neat metering. No? Kasi yung neat metering, so nangyayari dyan, for, for instance, if ikaw na yung nagbi, nag, nagbibigay ng kuryente sa utility company, so yung 
yung metro mo it will deduct also your ano your kilowatt hour consumption no for that uh, day or for that month yeah. inverter equipment equipment that is used to change voltage level or waveform or both electrical energy no also known as power conditioning unit pcu or power conversion system pcs so a device that changes dc input to AC output. Inverters may also function as battery charges, chargers that I use alternating current from another source and convert it into direct current for charging batteries. No? So, inverter, DC to AC. Itong last kasi, this is known as converter. Yung last, yung last na dinefine niya. No? Uh, uh, AC to DC. Yan. So, inverter, AC, DC to AC. Converter AC to DC. Module, no? A complete environmental protected unit system consists of solar cells, optics, and other components, no? So, module, no? So, yung uh, the set, no? Yung set ng isang PV system. Panel, so that is a collection of modules fastened together wired and decide to provide a field uh, in installable unit solar cell the basic photovoltaic device that generates electricity when exposed to light so i-correct natin yung misnomer na kapag laging na iinitan yung solar panel it will produce um, higher ano output so the solar cell that is uh, that will produce a high output if that is properly exposed to the sun to the light of the sun's sunlight no so ang kanyang output will depend on the light of the sun hindi sa init ng araw solar solar photovoltaic system the total components and system that in combination convert solar energy into electrical energy suitable for connection to utilization load so ito yung solar pv system no so stand alone system a photovoltaic system that supplies power in the, independently of an electrical production or distribution network. So, a solar a solar system or, or a PV system na hindi siya nakakonek or hindi siya naka-intandem sa supply ng utility company. No? So, yan yung stand-alone system. Okay. For the standard... So, for the ground fault protection, so roof-mounted DC photovoltaic arrays located on dwellings shall be provided with DC ground fault protection to reduce fire hazards. So, all installation na nasa ano, roof ng mga solar panel, so dapat meron siyang GFCI. Because yung DC kasi is mas delikado yan compared to AC, lalo na if they are, ano, nagka-troubles na especially sa grounding, so mas madali siyang magka-cause ng fire. No? So, that's why meron din siyang ano, ground fault protection. Unbalanced interconnection. So, single phase, single inverters for PV system and AC modules in interactive solar photovoltaic system shall not be connected to a three-phase power system unless the interconnected system is designed so that significant unbalanced voltage cannot result. Now, if the if ang system is interactive, yung sabi ko nila nga na pwedeng yung panel, yung solar panel is mag-supply if may, may extra siya na output. If, that's, if the panel is connected single phase, so dapat hindi siya i-connect sa supply ng, ng utility company na three phase. No? Unless the, ano, the three phase system ng, ano, ng, 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 ng utility company could compensate or design siya na pwede niyang tanggapin yung dagdag na ano dagdag na power no even it even if mayyari is maging unbalanced ang kanyang voltage three phase so three phase inverters and three phase ac modules in interactive system shall have all phases automatically de, de energize upon loss of or unbalanced voltage in one or more phases unless the interconnected system is designed to significantly or so that the significant balance voltage will not result. No, so in case na three phase yung ano mo module tapos three phase din yung system na i-connect mo. So they they must have unison na in case na karoon ng ano 
magkaroon ng problem, no? magkaroon ng isang phase na walang voltage, automatic na mag-disconnect lahat. It will uh, allow din siya as long as the power system itself has a design or nakadesign na, hin na kahit pa magkaroon ng unbalanced voltage, so it will have its own mechanism to prevent such an uh, such unbalance to occur. Okay, so markings. So modules shall be marked with the following. Okay, so open circuit voltage, operating voltage, maximum permissible system voltage, the operating current, short circuit current, and maximum power. So yung open circuit voltage, so that is the voltage of your uh, PV module if wala siyang load or hindi siya nakakonect. The operating voltage, so that is the voltage in which the module could operate. So that is either 12, 24, or 48. The maximum permissible system voltage, so that is the maximum uh, voltage of your ano, module at maximum power. The operating current, so that is the current, no? the normal current na kayang ibigay ng iyong solar panel. The short circuit current is the current in uh, mangyari if in, if you will ano if you will short circuit at the terminals. Then the maximum power is the maximum power output of your solar panel. No? So when you say maximum power, so that is if all conditions are met, no? So the whole panel is exposed to the light, tapos the light of your sun is maximum. Okay. Alternating current photovoltaic module. So, ito din yung kanyang naka, ano. Yung kanina is for DC. This is for AC. No, normal, uh, nominal operating AC voltage. The nominal operating AC frequency. No? So, yung AC voltage tapos yung frequency. The maximum AC power. So, this is rated at QVA. We will say AC power. Maximum AC current. And the maximum overcurrent device rating for AC module. So, kasama dito yung rating ng kanyang circuit breaker or overcurrent protection na device. So, ito naman for direct current. So, aside from those na ano general, so, op operating current, operating voltage, the maximum system, system voltage, and the short circuit current. So, yung storage batteries natin. So, if we are going to have our solar installed in dwelling units, the operating voltage for dwelling units, no? so shall have the cells connected to operate less than 50 volts nominal. No? So, hindi pwedeng lumagpas ng 50 volts no? yung ating uh, voltage no? for dwelling units. That is for the batteries. So, lead acid storage batteries shall have no more than 24 2 volt cells connected in series. When we say 24 2 volt cells, so that is ano, uh, 24 times 2, so that is 48. So, yung pinaka-maximum for lead-acid storage battery is 48 volts. So, battery non-conductive non cases and conductive trucks. So, flooded, vented, lead-acid batteries with more than 24 volt cells connected in series shall not be used or shall not use conductive cases or shall not be installed in conductive areas. Conductive racks used to support the non-conductive cases shall be permitted where no rack material is located within 150 mm of the tops of the non-conductive cases. Ibig sabihin ito, yung, yung battery mo, so 150 mm no, from either side, especially on the top, dapat walang conductive material na nandyan sa kanyang perimeter. No? So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng mga, ng ano, ng standard na to, no? So, that is from the casing, from the rack itself. No? So, battery system of more than 48 volts. The battery system shall be permitted to operate with ungrounded conductors provided the following conditions are met. No? So, this is for more than 48 volts. The DC and AC load circuit shall be solidly grounded. All main and grounded battery input or output circuit conductor shall be provided with switch disconnects and overcurrent protection. All ground fault detector and indicator shall be installed to, to monitor for ground faults in the battery bank. So charge controller so shall be provided to control the charging process of the battery. 
So charge control is not required where the design of the photovoltaic sources source circuit is matched to the voltage rating and the charge requirement of the interconnected battery. So if match naman yung ano yung ah uh, tawag doon. Voltahe ng ano, charge charge ng PV panel tapos yung sa battery. So a charge controller is not required, no? Pero the usual case is wala namang ano no uh, match talaga kasi the the voltage output of a panel will fluctuate depending on the light output of the sun no the maximum charging current multiplied by 1 hour must be less than 3% of the rated battery capacity in ampere hour so ito yung kanyang ano 1 hour no so maximum charge current kunyari 3 amperes times 1 hour no so ang ang, ang Answer non must be below 3% of the ampere R of your battery. So that is to prevent also overcharging. Okay, so now we will have some ito, questions. No? Okay, so just you know, write your answer on our chat box. Now we have this first question What type of lighting is commonly used? In electric signs and outland lighting, utilizing fluorescent lamps, high-intensity discharge lamp, or neon tubing. Okay, so just put your answer on our chat box. Yan. So my nag-answer na po ng letter C. Okay. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? electric electric discharge lighting. Next, what is neon tubing primarily used for in the context of electrical signs and outland, outline lighting? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, creating decorative elements and letters. Okay, next, what distinguishes skeleton tubing from other forms of neon tubing in electrical sign and outline lighting applications? Okay, the correct answer is letter D. No, it serves as the sign or outline lighting itself. Next, what is the maximum allowable operating voltage for storage batteries in dwelling unit as per the standard or as per given information? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? 15, uh, 50 volts nominal. Next, when dealing with flooded vented lead acid with more than 24 volts cell, volt cells connected in series or 48 volts nominal, what restriction is placed on their cases and, and installation? Okay, the correct answer is letter, so 
D, no? conductive cases, uh, letter C pala, conductive cases are prohibited and then conductive cases should be used. No? Unless if it is, ano, hindi talaga maiwasan, so you must have 150 mm no? from the top of the non-conductive cases. Why is DC ground floor protection required for roof-mounted photovoltaic arrays on dwellings? So, ano yung purpose kung bakit may ground fault protection? Okay. So, the correct answer is letter C, no? to reduce fire hazards. Okay. In the context of photovoltaic system, when can single phase Inverters be connected to three-phase power system without the need, need for automatic de-energization. Okay, so the correct answer is letter... C, no, when significant unbalanced voltage cannot result in the interconnected system. Okay. What is the primary purpose of a dry niche luminar in the context of pool or fountain installations? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no? I see, no? To eliminate the pool or fountain area. Good. So in what locations should GFCI be located according to the standard? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? With in weatherproof or outdoor enclosures for wet locations. Okay, so what is the minimum size requirement for working space around electrical components like ballast, transformers, and ele electronic power supplies? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? So all are 900 mm, tent width and height or height uh, width and the depth. Okay, so now we go to chapter 7, special conditions. Okay, so we have emergency system. So in case of uh, emergency system, so the test and maintenance of our uh, emergency systems are of the following requirements. So, the conduct or witness test. So, the authority having jurisdiction shall conduct or witness a test of the complete system upon installation and periodically afterwards. Then, tested periodically. System shall be tested periodically on a schedule acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction to ensure the system are maintained in proper condition. So, if we have a battery system maintenance, so, where battery system or unit equipment are involved, including battery used for starting, control, or ignition in external engines, the authority having jurisdiction shall require periodic maintenance. Then also, a written record of the test shall be kept, no? Uh, shall be kept, no? Then, testing under load. So, means for testing all emergency lighting and power system during maximum and anticipated load condition shall be also provided or shall be also given to the emergency system. So the wiring for our emergency system. So two or more emergency circuits supplied by the same source shall be permitted 
in the same raceway cable box or cabinet. So wiring from an emergency source or emergency source shall be kept entirely independent of all other wiring unless permitted in the following. First condition, wiring from the normal power source located in the transfer equipment. So mayroon tayong ano, transfer switch. Pwede na pareho lang yung ano yung load side ng ano ng ng ano ng ating uh, load for the emergency and for the uh, uh, normal system. Okay? Wiring supplied from two sources in exit or emergency luminaires, wiring from two sources in a common junction box for emergency luminaires, and wiring containing only the brand circuit supplying in a single equipment. So wiring design and location shall be designed and located so as to minimize the hazard that may cause failure due to flooding, fire, icing, and vandalism or adverse condition. So, yan yung ating end of four, our emergency system. Okay? So, fire protection. So, listed are the... Oy. Okay, so listed are additional requirements for buildings with 100 persons or more in buildings above 23 mm in height with the following occupancies. So, assembly, educational, residential, detention, and correctional, including business and um, mercantile or merchandise. Now, feeder circuit wiring shall meet the following for emergency system. So, be installed in spaces, areas that are fully protected with an approved automatic fire suppression system. So, the fire rating is 1R, tapos may thermal barrier, tapos the thermal barrier is also rated 1R, tapos the system is embedded in not less than 50 mm of concrete, then the cable is tend to maintain circuit integrity of not less than 1R. Okay, sources of power, so but if we are using storage battery, shall be suitable rating and capable to supply and maintain a load for a minimum of one and one and a half hour without voltage to load falling uh, 87 and one half percent no, of the normal. So if you're using generator set, so prime mover driven, so yung time delay uh, feature niya should permit 15 minutes sitting and shall provide uh, and also be provided to avoid retransfer in case of short time re-establishment of the normal source. So, dapat hindi, ano siya, hindi siya agad-agaran magta-transfer, no? In case na abrupt lang yung pagkawala ng ating normal load. So, dapat may time delay. So, it could be set na yung prime mover natin may time delay. Uh, internal combustion engine as prime mover and on-site fuel supply shall be provided sufficient no, yung kanyang ano, fuel shall be sufficient of not less than 2 hours in full operation. Yan. Okay, then battery power and dampers. So, a battery shall be equipped with an automatic charging means independent of generator set. And the damper used for ventilation of the gene set must also be connected to the emergency system. No? So, yung mismong ventilation ng ating emergency system shall be also connected to, or the ating mga emergency equipment shall be also connected to the emergency system. Auxiliary power supply, generator sets that require more than 10 seconds to develop power shall be permitted if an auxiliary power supply energizes the emergency system until generator can pick up the load. No, so this is commonly used in ano, in healthcare facilities. So aside from having a generator, meron din silang natawag nating ano, um, but battery bank no in para habang yung uh, yung ating generator is picking up the voltage yung makikiray mo na ng load is yung battery bank outdoor generator sets an additional disconnecting means is not required in the building or structure if it it supplies if it has a disconnecting means within a site or located in the house of the gene set okay so separate service where acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction, a suitable for emergency source additional service is permitted, uh, is permitted provided it has a separate service drop or service lateral and service conductor sufficiently remote 
electrically and physically from any other service conductor. So, merong, ano, it could allow separate service if that is approved by the, ano, the building official, no? Or any um, authority having, ano, having jurisdiction if that service is for emergency source, no? So, dapat, yan, yan, be approved. Then, the unit equipment shall be provided with illumination consisting of the following. A rechargeable battery. A battery charging means one or more lamps mounted on the equipment. Then, a, a relaying device arranged to energize the lamp automatically upon failure of the equipment. Yun, no? So, okay, ito. Parang na, ano lang. Then, GFCI or the you know, ground for protection of equipment. The alternate source for emergency system shall not be required to have ground for protection of the equipment with automatic disconnect means. So, pwede yung ating ano, emergency system should, uh, hindi siya pwede, uh, kahit hindi siya nagyan ng ano, GFCI. That is for the emergency system only. As long as yung normal system is my ano, GFCI protection. Legally required standby system. So, legally required standby system are system required and so class as legally required by municipal, state, federal, or other codes or by any governmental agency having jurisdiction. These systems are intended to automatically supply power to selected loads other than those class as emergency systems in the event of failure of the normal source. No? So these are the legally required standby system. For example, in a certain municipality, they have their own backup generator that could supply a portion no, ng kanilang, ano, ng kanilang constituents. So, that is considered as legally required standby system as long as it is approved no, by any governmental agency having jurisdiction. So, circuit wiring. So, for this type of system, uh, they should be permitted to occupy the same raceway cable box and cabinets of the normal wiring or the general wiring. Sources of power for legally required system shall be available within the time required for the application but not to exceed 60 seconds. Okay, so hindi, ano, hindi siya lalagpas ng 60 seconds. So, same provision for the emergency system, for storage battery, genset, separate service, and unit equipment. The GFCI protection, an alternate source for legally required standby system, shall not be required to have its own GFCI. So, same lang doon sa ating emergency system. Optional standby system. So, optional standby system are those systems intended to supply power to public or private facilities or property where life safety does not depend on the performance of the system. Optional standby system are intended to supply on-site generated power to selected loads either automatically or manually. So, tinatawag nilang portable generator, no? which is only used in case na kunyari sa school may program no? or there is an, doon, an out, outreach program sa mga government sa mga lugar na walang kurente. So, these are optional standby system. So, the circuit wiring it is the same as the uh, standard and the wiring for normal wiring system. Then the outdoor general set and additional disconnecting means is not required in the building or structure if the if yung mismong generator is meron na siyang disconnecting means within the site or located in the house of the, the gen set. Okay, so now we have another uh, no, uh, batches of questions. No? Okay, so what is the minimum duration for which uh, but a storage battery must up by supply and maintain the load with without falling below 87.5% of the normal voltage. Okay, so ano yung tamang sagot niyo diyan? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, and 1.5 hours. Next, what is the primary purpose of optional standby system according to the code?
Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, to provide on-site generated power for selected loads. Okay, so in case of an outdoor generator set, when is an additional disconnecting means not required in the building or, or structure it supplies? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? when the generator set has a disconnecting means within sight. What does the authority having jurisdiction require periodic maintenance for battery or unit equipment involved in emergency system? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, in accordance with their specific guidelines and requirements. How should emergency system be tested to ensure they are maintained in proper operating condition? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, on a, on a schedule acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction. Who is responsible for conducting or, wit or witnessing a test of the complete emergency system upon installation and practically afterward? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, the authority having jurisdiction. Okay, so now we go to the last chapter no, for the Philippine Electrical Code. So, ang, ang talagang last ito is chapter 9, which is watercraft, which is according to the uh, uh, specifications no, for the uh, April 2024 RME exam. So, it is not part no, of the you know, topics, no? So, ang ano lang is hanggang ano, chapter 8 which is communication systems. Okay? So, we have communication circuits. So, wires and cables outside of the building clearance. So, it is the same communication system na ano natin, na tackle natin during our discussion in PEC part 2. No? The, the, the clearances between the power Power conductor and the communication conductor same, no? With this regard, so dito naman sa part na to, uh, we are considering um, communication system or communication circuits or conductors now within the premises or we consider as part of the premises wiring ng isang building, no? So, for example, we have on poles and in span. So, supply service drops of 0 to 75 volts running above and parallel to communication service shall have a minimum separation of 300 mm. So, ito, common to sa ating ano, discussion sa PEC part 2. No? At any point in the span, including the point under attachment to the building. Above roofs, no? the vertical clearance of our ano, communication circuit or conductor shall not be less than 2,500 mm from all points of the rope which they pass. Then, lighting conductor. A separation of at least 1,800 mm shall be between communication wires, cables, and on buildings and lighting conductors. For the radio and television equipment, so click clearances on a uh, no receiving station. So, if outside building, the lead-in conductor attached to building shall be installed so that they cannot swing closer than 600 mm to the conductors 
of circuit 250 or less than between the phase or conductors. Tapos 300 mm to conductors over 250 between, except that in case of circuit not over 150 between conductors where all conductors involved are supported to us to ensure their permanent separation. So for this one, mayroong mga spacer in which the spacer shall not be less than 100 mm. For light lightning rod system so this is lighting hindi po yan lighting but lightning rod system the clearance shall be not less than 1.8 mm for underground conductors for class 1 circuit so the, the separation must be also 300 mm for ant antennas and lead in indoors so the run shall not be near 50 mm to the conductors of our normal power or the Ano, the power conductors. So, optic fiber cables and risk So, we have abandoned optical fiber cable. Installed optical cable that is not terminated at equipment other than a connector and not identified for future use with a tag. So, for the word is abandoned. No? So, it is not necessarily na ano, may gamit but it is, is installed but is not terminated in any connector or any box. Cable sheet, no? so same to sa ano, PEC part to the definition. So that is a covering of uh, fiber of over the optical fiber assembly that includes one or more jackets and may include one or more metallic members or strength members. Expose, no? a conductive optical fiber cable is such a position that in case of failure supports or insulation, Contact between the cables and non-carrying conductive members and an electrical circuit may result. No? So that is an exposed na fiber optic cable. So cable outside and entering buildings. So overhead fiber cables containing non-current and current carrying cables should follow this, ano, this standard. No? So yung, ano, yung mga 300 mm na mga clearance. So, same po siya doon sa, ano, sa all communication na mga system. No? Okay, so for the re relative location, where practicable or where practical, the outside plant optical fiber cable shall be located below the electric light or power conductors. Then the attachment to cross arm, attachment of outside plant optical cables to a cross arm that carries electrical light or power conductor shall not be permitted. Climbing space, so the climbing space to the outside plant kada kudipo shall comply no, with the requirement. So this requirement is yung ano niya, yung atag doon, yung minimum clearance of the climbing space which is katulad din kanina yung 900mm by 900mm. So clearance, supply, service drops, no, same doon sa ano, sa ating communication circuits. So of 300mm at any point in span. Then the clearance shall not be less than 1,000 mm shall be maintained between two services at the pole. So above ropes, ganun pa rin, 2,500 mm ang kanyang clearance. No? Okay, so underground optical fiber cable entering buildings. So yun pa rin yung, ano, uh, yung kanyang ano, uh, uh, standard. No? So 150 mm if that is ano, uh, enclosed in a conduit or raceway, if not 450 mm. Okay. So, network powered broadband communication system. So, itong network powered broadband, no? so, ito na yung may, ano, may nakalagay na ng mga signal. Eh, no? May mga signal na. So, uh, fiber na mga, ano, na mga broadband. So, installed network powered broadband communication cable that is not terminated at the equipment or not identified for future use with attack. So, naka, ano lang siya, naka install lang siya doon sa ano, either overhead or underground, but it is not uh, used. Block, a square or portion of a city, town, or village enclosed by street, including alleys, alleys so enclosed but not at any street. So, block, no, kanto. So, yan yung ating block. Exposed to accidental contact, a circuit such, such as a position that in case of failure of supports or insulation contact with a circuit may result. So, ganun pa rin yung definition 
between optical fiber and network fiber when it comes to expose to accidental contact. Okay, so fault protection device. So this is a device that is used to protect our, ano, our network power broadband cable to any ano, uh, short circuit or fault. Network interface unit or NIU, a device that converts broadband signal into component voice, audio, or video data and interactive services. No? So ito yung nako-convert ng mga signal from our broadband into the ano the signals which could be used no tulad ng voice audio or video the network powered broadband communication circuit the circuit extending from the communication utility serving the terminal or tap up to the including including the NIU you have also premises powered broadband communication system so this is the part of the broadband system na nasa loob na ng, ano, ng ating premises or kasama na sa PEC part 1. So, we have the net network terminal, a device that converts network signals so into uh, signals including voice data and wireless. So, katulad siya ng ano, ng, uh, uh, basically itong NIU nasa loob siya ng network terminal. Okay. So, premises communication circuit, the circuit that ext extends voice, audio, data, interactive services, telegraph, except radio, and outside wiring for fire alarm, burglar alarm from service provider network terminal to the customer communication equipment up to including terminal equipment such as telephone, fax machine, or answering machine. The premises community antenna television or CATV circuit the circuit that extends the community antenna television or the cable TV system for audio, video, and interactive services from the service providers onto the appropriate customer equipment. So, galing doon sa ano, antenna ng ating cable provider, papunta doon sa, ano, sa customer. So, that is the premises uh, community antenna television circuit. Okay. So, ito yung mga definition. All, this is all communication, communication circuits. So, ito na sinabi ko. The, ano, the clearance and the spacing, the standards that apply to communication circuit will apply also to every type of communication circuit that you are going to install or na i-install in a, in a building. So, yung mga 300mm, 2 pipe from the roof, so the vertical clearance, all of that will apply as long as is the wire or the conductor is part of the communication circuit. Either that is broadband, fiber, telephone, cable TV, CCTV, fire alarm. So as long as it's carry signals, no, nakikiray ang signal either for that is um, emergency or for entertainment. So it will follow the standard for communication circuits, no. So, ang nasa ng chapter 8 kasi is communication circuit in general tapos bawat isa is diniscuss kung ano yung pinagkaiba-iba ng bawat circuit. No? So, kaya meron tayong optical fiber system, yung ano, network broadband, yung, yung ito, yung premises communication circuit, tapos itong uh, CATV or cable TV. Yan. So, the diniscuss isa-isa pero bawat standard niya is doon pa rin siya bumabalik sa pinaka-general when it comes to the when it comes to the clearances no it is not discuss or it is not part of the standard kung ano yung mga types of equipment kung anong kung gaano kalaki yung ano yung um tawag doon yung size ng termination when it comes to this type of circuit kasi that that uh, that that uh, that standard will fall to the ano to the ano um to the electronics engineer or to the electronics technician sa atin lang sa preliminary code we are most concerned of the clearances between the communication circuit and the power circuit because meron kasi ang tawag ng interference no so the magnetic interference or the electromagnetic interference that may cause no our communication circuit to fail 
no so maaring if that is a say TV so merong mga ano mag, mag, magiging pangit yung ano yung picture na lalabas o yung ano signal no for o naman for broadband or or or, or sa internet so maaring humina yung signal no for fire alert system maybe it will uh, cause false alarm no yung ano yung mga nuisance alarm kahit wala namang sunog nag-aalarm kasi na trigger yung ating ko ano yung ating circuit for the fire alarm no so yan yung ating concern but when it comes to termination so that is mostly um cons uh, scope of the electronics engineer or the electronics technician okay so now we will have the final batches of questions no so what is the primary purpose of premises communication circuit as described in the provided information or as per described on the standards okay so ano po diyan yung ano sagot nyo Okay, so the correct answer for this one po is letter C, to extend various communication service from the service provider to the customer equipment. No? Okay, so either that is for broadband, for internet, or for CATV. Okay, so what type of services are typically extended through premises communication antenna television circuit? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, audio, video, data, and interactive services. Okay, what is the primary function of a network terminal as described in the standard? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no? to convert network provided signals into component signals including various services. Okay, so what is the minimum clearance between lead-in conductors attached to building and circuits of over 250 between conductors? So dito, with the circuit uh, voltage is more than 250 volts or over 250 volts. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? Six, abed makit bigla siyang nag, ano, forward. 600 mm. Okay, next. How much clearance is required between the saving stations and lighting rod systems? Okay, the correct answer is letter D, 1,800 mm. When running antennas and lead-ins indoors, how close can they be to conductors of other wiring system in the premises? So the clearance between uh, the wiring conductors for the building and the uh, conductors for the antennas and lead-in indoors. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? 50 mm, yung kanilang spacing. What is the minimum separation required be between supply service drops 0 to 750 volts 
and communication service drop running above and parallel to each other. Okay, the minimum separation or spacing. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, no? 300 mm. Okay, how much vertical clearance is required for wires and cables running above ropes? Okay. So the correct answer is letter D, you no know, 2500 mm. How much separation is required between communication wires and cables on buildings and lighting conductors? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, 1800 mm. So, what is the minimum vertical clearance needed for wires and cables above roofs as per the standard? No? So, ito, parang yung answer to sa katulad din kanina, no? which is 2,500 mm. What is the primary purpose of network interface unit as described in the standard? Ano yung purpose ng network interface unit? Okay, the correct answer is letter. So letter D to provide association between network and power and premises signal circuit. In the context of network power broadband communication circuit, what does the circuit extends from and up to? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no, from the communication utility serving terminal or top of the NIU. Okay, so that will be all for our discussion this evening. No, so that is for chapter uh, six, seven, and eight, and that will conclude our discussion for PEC part one. No? So after this, I'll be giving a preboard for the whole PEC part one and part 2 no okay so tomorrow we will start no uh, we'll back to our regular na no, discussion so we will be we will now be starting technical no, subjects okay